Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're sitting over here on top of this bridge right now. We're looking at this nice little ravine here. It's a really good drinking spot for Mouflon. We actually have out here a pretty decent size for using Mouflon, uh, about 220 out. So we're gonna set up a tripod right on top of this bridge here and see if we can't take ourselves out a pretty nice Mouflon with the 6.5. He's about 200 pretty much exactly. Pretty broadside, I feel like we should be able to get double lung if not heart. I'm just going to try and hit the top of the heart or he's going to turn and completely give us absolutely no shot. So we're going to hold off. We're just going to be patient, wait for him to turn and hopefully he gives us a broadside shot. But I hear something coming underneath us. It looks like we have a road here trotting right underneath us as we're waiting. So you know what? We'll just take a shot, see what happens. Uh, Well, I guess it was good because she dropped right there. I'd say that was about 50, 55 out. I was using the red pin for 40 and holding for about 60. Let it, took the shot, and, well, we dropped it. But it looks like our Mouflon still did not change positions yet. So we'll wait here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Turn perfectly broadside. Let's get ready. And why is he actually traveling, though? There still should be like 20 minutes left of drink zone. But I guess we're going to have to go for kind of a trotting shot on this Held a little bit high and forward, but still should have been double lung. And he's down right there. Nice move on down. Should be a pretty decent one. And let's see if we can't actually get another one while we're at it. In fact, we got one right here. That might have been a little bit low. But apparently not, because he piled up right there. I mean, we're him for 300, and he was probably all of 300 out there. So with that... Let's head down here and go start picking some of these up. So first I suppose we'll grab this row and uh, what? 74 yard double lung heart shot on the trot out of a tripod from a bridge with the bow. That's kind of impressive. I had no clue we would have hit the heart on that thing. And this is actually the second ram that we got. It was a decent one, but wow. Double lung dim at 322. You know, I'm always kind of hesitant when I go for heart and if I don't hit the heart, it seems like it's gonna be a flesh hit. But in this case here, it looks like we went right through, got double lung and just barely missed the heart. We're gonna go down here now and go pick up our nice ram that we got. Should have been double lung on him as well. And here's our first ram. This one should be a pretty decent one. Let's find out. That was actually a double lung shot at 200 yards. Well, 199.6, but basically 200 yards out, he's gonna score 883 with a trophy rating of 159.6 and we'll get 1,082 cash for that. So I actually thought we were a little bit too high, but because we were so high up on that bridge and we're zeroed in for 160, the fact that it was 200, it started to drop just a little bit and it actually dropped perfect for double lung. So now I think we're gonna head over to the castle, but first I found this whole herd of bedded wild boar over here. And we actually have a decent sized four easy male wild boar right out in the middle. Now we have the 6.5 rifle on us and I don't know how it's going to do on the wild boar, but I kind of want to go for about a 200 yard shot and maybe go for spinal cord. If we miss the spinal cord, we still should get a single lung, maybe heart. I don't know. We'll find out. So we'll put it right above the spine. Hopefully it drops right. It looked pretty much perfect. Although I don't see him going down, but it should definitely take him down. So I'm pretty sure this is him. <laughs> you guys didn't see, I took down a couple other ones as well. But anyways, that was him. That was a 206 yard. Looks like we only got a right lung. And I mean, at that angle, we basically had to go through the entire lung. If it was broadside, I would pretty much guarantee we get double lung, but because it was bedded down, yeah, only a 67% of the quick kill. But I mean, hey, still got a single lung at 200, so I'll take it. And we are about to arrive to our castle right here. I mean, this thing is going to be pretty cool because it's really, really high up. And not only that, I'm pretty sure we can actually get up there and set up a tripod on top of it. So not that it's not already high enough already, but with the tripod, we're going to be high up. Plus, we can take down almost an entire herd of either Mouflon or Ibex. And we're not even going to have to worry about losing our need zone. Okay, we just got to the top. We're going to set up our tripod right there perfect right now we're a little bit too early for the actual rest zone which is where all the ibex and and uh, mouflon tend to come but apparently we're not too early because we already have sight on a pretty decent size four easy ronda ibex out here he's about 220 out but with the 6.5 it's kind of an odd distance 
You know what? That's 250. So we're going to wait until they come a little bit closer. And of course, he's going to bed down right there. Well, he never actually turned. So I think we're going to try and sneak one right into the heart if we can. <laughs> you know what? I honestly think we just hit the dirt hill right in front of him. That was going perfectly right for the heart. But I think it fell just shy and hit that dirt hill right in front of him. Because that big uh, Ibex is not even touched. But it looks like we have yet another pretty nice Ibex out here. Another Ronda Ibex at about 280. It's a big four and we're going to try and squeeze one in there. If we get a single lung, I'll be happy with that. That should have been heart, but obviously it wasn't. Still should have been single lung and that should take him down. And it looks like we got eyes on another pretty decent sized Ronda Ibex coming in through here. But this guy has really unique looking horns on him. Hit a little too far back of the heart, but still should have got a single lung, and that should take him down. And it looks like we have a couple of females out here, so why not try and take them down as well? Okay, that was perfect. Why? What? What is going on? <laughs> I was going to say, that was perfect. It should drop. And it did, but it kind of hesitated for a little bit. But another female out here, and I think we'll wait until she slows down. If she does slow down. Come on, slow down. I don't think she's going to slow down. Oh yeah, she's slowing down. Here we go. It looked good. I had it right on the heart, but I don't see any sign of movement. So I feel like we might have dropped her. I don't know. So I see something in this tree right here, but I don't really know. I think we hit it. Oh, you know what? I think that was a nice four. So if we didn't hit it, we definitely hit it that time. Oh, oh, oh. And he's down. I kind of wish we wouldn't have hit it the first time because I think we just ruined our integrity on that really nice round of Ibex, but oh well. But I just caught eyes on this guy. That is a giant four as well. And we're going to try and see if we can't get on him with the 6.5. We're zeroed him for 160. He's about 280 out there. Wow, that must have been heart. <laughs> Just smoked him at about 280. I was hoping to get double lung, but I guess uh, that'll do. Okay, so I want to hop down now and start picking some of these up. But before we do that, I want to show you the location we're at. We're over here by the Lagu Javier. We actually have two uh, resting zones for the Ronda Ibex here from 1130 until 1700 at night. So basically, we can see this whole area around like three, 400 yard circle all the way around us. We also have the uh, Mouflon uh, drink zone over here. So basically, when they finish drinking, they come back the same direction. And I always hear warning calls and I hear mating calls in the same area as well. So that means the Mouflon come to the same exact spot. All right, so I think we have about four or five down right here. Plus we have two more, plus that giant over there. That's gonna be a 226 yard. Oh. As he is quartering at us, it looks like we hit maybe two inches behind the heart. Still got a single lung at 226, and that's gonna score 709. Got another one down here. Let's take a look at that one. That was actually a 276 yard left lung hit that was the first one that we took that is an awesome looking ronda ibex wow so we were actually too high 276 i was zeroed in for 320 holding for the heart we still hit high if i would have known that he was 276 i would have held a little bit lower but i mean still a left lung hit i will definitely take that now i'm pretty sure this is the big one that we ended up hitting twice yes it was it would have been a monster what i mean that's kind of a lucky shot 300 yards in the brush and we got a spinal cord shot but wouldn't that drop it in its tracks i'm a little confused about this maybe because the 6.5 doesn't have enough power to knock it down or what but anyways then we put a follow-up and got a left lung at 309 completely ruined the integrity just like i thought and the quick kill because apparently the first shot didn't take them down still a cool looking ronda ibex and we got another decent one here. That was actually a 315 yard. It looks like we got vertebrae and left lung. 
not going to be a bad size one. He was only a three very easy, but 693. And we'll end up getting another thousand cash for that. So I'll take it. And we got another one laying here. Let's take a look at this one. This one is the one that I saw I had the really, really messed up looking horn. Wow. That was a 345 yard double lung shoulder blade shot on that really nice round Ibex. But take a look at the horn. That's almost like a, and a well, not a non-typical, but it's, it's pretty uncommon to be able to see a round Ibex like this. I kind of want to get it mounted just because it's the first one that I've seen like this. But then again, I don't know if it's more common than I really think. So I think we're going to hold off on that. Still a really cool looking round Ibex though. And we got a female down here, double lung liver at 229. That was actually a pretty solid female. Got another one down here. Let's take a look. That was a 228 yard. Okay, that was the one that I thought we made a heart shot, but it looks like somehow it went right over the top or between it or something. I, I don't know. It kind of looks like that would have been double lung heart at 228 yards. And of course we have this guy. Now this one should be a monster. He was a long ways out there. That was a left lung heart shot at 268 yards. That was the final um, Ronda Ibex that we took a shot. Oh, 268 yards on the trot and we absolutely centered that heart. Wow. He's gonna score 901. This thing ended up weighing 143.57 pounds. And I think we're gonna get this one mounted. It's gonna be our biggest Ronda Ibex so far. So, but take a look at that shot placement. 268 yard walking lung and heart shot. Honestly, I kind of want to take a look at true score on this because I haven't really looked at these uh, true score for the big Ronda Ibex lately. The overall horn length is 53.1 and the spread is 19.7. Circumference of 31.5 with a trophy, or I mean a true score of 104.3. All right, guys, so I thought we'd head back to the trophy lodge here real quick so I can show you our giant five medium 936 almost diamond mouflon. We decided to put our huge 900 plus Ronda Ibex right there. That's a pretty nice looking Ibex. You know, honestly, these two are my two top animals of the new reserve. Number one being the mouflon and number two being the Ronda Ibex. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.